Let's talk about United then. Oh, I think boy. a good way to start this conversation is just taking a look at their starting 11 today. And of course, there's no Rashford. He's going to be out for weeks. Mm. Pogba, well, who but, knows when uh -huh. he's going to be back. This is Manchester United who have spent a lot of money. What's it, over a billion since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club? Yeah, this. I guess the best place to start is, right? So the team. So we're getting rid of pretty. If, if you were to do a clean out, like De Gea at the moment. Do you give him a pass because what he's done in the past, or are you concerned that he isn't what he should be? I'm moving on. <laughs> right. No, no but he, he, here's what I I think if you want to paint a clear picture of what Manchester United is and has been, is Juan Mata scores a goal against Wolves in the midweek. People today were upset that Juan Mata wasn't starting. <laughs> now, Juan Mata has been left for dead for who knows how long with Manchester United. And now the desperate fans are like, yes, Juan Mata is the guy. He will be the one that turns it around for us. It, there's nowhere to turn to if you're Manchester United. You, you look around and you go, man, of this team, who is it that if you were, if you, if you were given the opportunity to start over and say, how many of those players do you keep? Yeah. How many of those players do you build around? How many of those players are part of your core group? Five, ten years from now? Yep. And the well, answer. Uh, and, and, and I think difficult. another way to turn that is how many of those players get into a Manchester City or Liverpool starting well, 11? Why on that's it. For that's sort a of push. Yeah. So, I know, I know it's been thrown out there before, but basically Man United are where Liverpool were a decade ago. And the problem that United have, we can sit, and, and I'm sure plenty of United fans and people on the board and whatever are sitting looking at that team the way we are and saying, well, we need a clear out. The problem is... You can't have a clear out because who are you bringing in? Yeah. You know, regardless of where you are, when you're a coach or you're a team, when you're bringing somebody in, they have to be better than the one you have. And again, we can argue how good Pereira is or how good Aaron Matic is now is. But how do they replace them with better? And that's, that's the biggest problem they have. And you've got it from top to bottom, obviously. Woodward and the way that he's conducted his business has been excellent for the books, but not on the pitch. Mm. You look at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a man who got relegated with Cardiff, has got no real managerial experience to justify him having this job, yet he's the man in charge. And he's not going to help you bring in people over the summer, is he? No. To rebuild this club, because it's not Sir Alex Ferguson on the phone to you or chatting to your parents or going to see you. This is, this is Solskjaer, nice guy. Not good enough. Well, and to that end, one of the things that Manchester United has leaned on in this sort of new life of Manchester United is saying, you know what, we're going to depend on the young talent. <laughs> we are going to nurture the young talent. It's about youth. And then you say, wait, 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 wait a minute. If it is about youth, why didn't you go after Haaland? Why didn't you truly pursue one of the young, up-and-coming strikers in the world? Haaland. Then he makes his debut with Borussia Dortmund and scores a hat-trick. And you're thinking, well, isn't this the profile of the yeah. player that yeah. you're looking for? Mind you, if you're Haaland at the moment, why on earth well, do you want to get, well, get involved uh, with United and, and that's when you a want to be at Dortmund? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I've just said. How are you supposed to get rid yeah. of, of, of anybody at United? Like, like Martial, for example. He is, a, he is a guy in the trade. We, we say, this is the guy that gets you fired. Mm -hmm. Because what he does is... Every now and again, he produces something fantastic, and you go, well, this guy's got talent. And then he disappears. And then just when you're ready to throw him away, he does something great again. Yep. But how do you get rid of Martial? Sorry, how do you bring somebody in that's better than Martial? And, and the fact that Haaland doesn't come to Man United and goes to Borussia tells you exactly the problems that they're going to have replacing anybody. And by the way, what an indictment it is on the Premier League this season mm -hmm. that this team is only five points off Chelsea in fourth. Well, and, and you look at the table and you say, OK, Liverpool and the best version of Manchester City, different level, right? They are nowhere near everybody else. And then after that is, I mean, it is some kind of awful. Yeah. This weekend, for example, Chelsea losing to Newcastle, and you're thinking, my goodness, this, this is a top four team. No, but Ali, that's the appeal of the Premier League, that uh, one uh, team can beat another. Uh, yeah, no, but, well, you can say, you can, you, can, you can turn it and spin it like that, or you can say there is a lot of average and mediocre teams. For the money that's in that league? Oh, yeah. I mean, and, the, and the distancing of Liverpool and Manchester City is embarrassing, not only to the teams behind them, but to the league as a whole. Because then you start making the argument, wait a minute, how is this any different than La Liga? Well, 
Ah, it, it wasn't the differentiation of, of it's levels the... are bad, isn't it? Huh? It's levels are bad. <laughs> really. Well, but 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 it how is that dif the, the the differentiation between the Premier League and La Liga has been for many years that well, it's not just Real Madrid Barcelona. It, well, it is Liverpool and Manchester City, and that's it. The other ones have no chance of competing with the other two. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.